Hey everyone, welcome to Will's Treasures today. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you being here. And I want to show you off a few coins, some cool, cool Canadian silver dollars. Now, I don't know if you know too much about them, but they have a great history. They're 80% silver and they're just beautiful coins, beautiful designs, and I'm glad to have them in my collection. Now, I'm going to show you this first one here, and you got the young queen on, on the obverse of it. And on the back, it, this is a 1953. It's got two guys in a canoe. One's a fur trader, and the other one's a uh, local Canadian. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the history of the, the back of the coin in just a bit. So stick around. Because you're gonna, gonna want to check these other ones out, but that's a beautiful example of the Canadian silver dollar. Now we're gonna move on to these here, and you might wonder why are they in this flip? Now this is the Canadian the way that they grade their coins. This is ICCS, the International Coin Certification Service, and this is. Um, similar to PCGS or, or NGC in the States. So this is the grading service that they use and ICCS has been in business since 1986. They've graded over a million coins throughout the years and they specialize in grading and authenticating Canadian coins and tokens. But they'll also grade British coins, US and other foreign coins. So that's pretty cool. Now, instead of in the hard slabs that, that we would get our coins in the U.S., you know, in these slabs here, they put them in these flips. And both, um, both sides of the flip, you can see, are completely sealed. I cannot access this coin at all. And that's the way they do it. They keep it completely sealed. And on the back, it tells you Canada, 1935, $1, and the grade, AU55. They also have a comment section. If there's, you know, if it was an error coin or something like that, they would, they would put that in the comment section. They have a certification number. And then, in our opinion, this is a genuine original item. Tampering with this seal holder invalidates above opinion have holder replaced if inner package seal not intact so kind of cool it comes with it sealed on both sides and to tell you a little bit about where did i have it here yeah a little bit about the uh the back of this coin get you a better picture of it here this one has some nice toning going on also so this is the first year, 1935, of the Voyager silver dollar. Canada's first circulated silver dollar bears the history unlike any other numismatics. First struck in 1935, the final year of the peace dollar, the last circulating United States silver dollar. So this came out the last year of the peace silver dollar. The Voyager dollar was commissioned in celebrating of King George V's Silver Jubilee or 25th year as king. So this is King George. The coin received its name from the iconic design of a pair of Voyagers. Were one a fur trader and the other a native Canadian. Guiding a canoe across open waters in tribute to the fur trade, the industry that founded the nation. The coin's imagery invoking the nation's vast, untamed frontier made it one of the most popular coin designs ever struck in Canada. So, very, very cool. And this first year is a key date, so definitely happy to have this coin. And what, what was that grade? That was a AU55. Put that down and we'll check out the next one here. King George V, same grading service. And let's look at this. This one's an AU50. It's got a certification number. 
And this one's in beautiful condition also. Look at that. Great details. And I don't know if you can see it through this flip, but you got the sun's rays coming down. Hard to see through this flip. But hopefully you can see it. The sun rays coming down on the two guys in the canoe. Beautiful, beautiful coin. And this last one is from BC Coin Mart. And this is also a certification uh, service up in Canada. And it's got the, the certification number. And on the back, it tells you this one's a 1936, an EF40. Same with the little comment section. And then the, the little disclaimer, tampering with this holder invalidates above opinion. So kind of cool. And this one is also sealed, cannot access this coin at all. Same design, but in 1936, second year it was minted, and King George V. So what, what do you like better? Do you like the king on their silver dollars or the queen? Put it down in the comments below which one you think is a better looking coin. They both have the same reverse. So, put it down in the comments, the king or the queen. I'm not sure exactly what year they switched to the queen. I got to do a little more research to check that out. But two, what did I get? Four great coins to add to my collection. All Canadian silver dollars, 80%. Pretty damn sweet. And as always, if you guys want one of these channel stickers, hit me up. Email will be down below. Just send me an email, request one. I'll ship one out to you. So guys, thanks for watching today. This is Will from Will's Treasures, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.